Quindexter here, back in my redstone testing world, and I've been having a lot of fun. And by fun, if I could virtually pull my hair out, I would have done. But I have an update video on all of this that you can see behind me. Lots of testing going on. Fair few hours put into this. And it's one of those things where I had an idea that this should be possible, and there must be a video out there to help me, at least on my way, but there was nothing. Literally nothing on YouTube. Which is a bit rare, because normally when you have an idea in Minecraft, somebody's already come up with an answer. So I had to come up with my own answer, and that wasn't easy. And it's certainly not perfect, but I think it's interesting, so I'll take you through it. Here's the dilemma. What I wanted to do for the villager tower I'm building in Foreverland's Vault, check out those videos if you want to see progress there. This is the mock-up of it in Creative. And it's one, two, three, four stories high. Probably five stories high in the end. How to get up and down between the floors, because there probably won't be a, like a hole to fly in with elytra for each floor. So, a lobby with a lift slash elevator, depending on, you know, where you are in the world. And so I just started mocking something out very simply. Walk through here, and then you go... Here's some buttons for different floors, and in you go, and the bubble beta takes you up and deposits you on the very top floor. So then I was like, right, okay, well, what we need to do is be able to have a button that puts a piston out to stop you on each floor, and then the piston re retracts a block, sticky piston with a block, and you can choose a different floor to go up, and then you just, like, fall down if you want to between floors. How easy that sounds, and how totally impossible it actually was for a long time. I am not going to take you through the first iteration, the second iteration, the third one, just testing different circuits and timings, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one, eighth one, ninth one, tenth one. But over here, we have something that just about works, and I'll talk about the the fundamental problems that I encountered through my little redstone journey. Here's a little mock-up. So what we want to do is we want to have a piston, which has to be extended. There we go. So if you're coming from down there, and this is, let's say, the second floor, you hit this block, I'm on the right floor, and you walk out. And then you want to retract your piston. Let's say you want to go up to the next floor, well, that doesn't work anymore because you've broken the water source block. So what you need to do is replenish the water source. Oh, that didn't work. Replenish the water source. So now when you go in, you go up to the floor that you want. In order to dispense water, you do it with a button. Oh, do it with a button with the right click. Okay, that takes it away. That adds it back again. Happy days. But pistons work on levers. If you did it with a button, it will just retract the piston on the second tick. So we have a mixture of buttons or levers. And I know with a monostable circuit, I'm not going to do a tutorial for that. You can check out YouTube. There are hundreds of them. You kind of need the lever to operate the dispenser like a button. And also, the other big challenge is when you want to break the water source, as in to put a block that your head hits so you can walk out, you need to pull in the water first, then extend the piston. And then when you want to add the water back in again, you need to pull the piston out and then add the water. So it's reverse. So you have reverse timing that you need to deal with. And that made me scratch my head for a lot. I did etho hopper clocks. There's probably one over here. Here's one where I was trying to alternate the sig... Well, here's another one where I was trying to alternate the signal out of one side and into the next one. I kept on coming up to a timing issue. No matter how many repeaters I put in, and what I tried to do using uh, negative power sources, which I have done in the in the final build... But I had to work out the timing. And this is as tidy and as close 
and as small as I've managed to get this. So whilst I'm not going to go into the mechanics of all of the different logic gates and various things that I tried to do and failed along the way, I will talk about how this one works. Now, I'm in a flat testing world, which means that I'm into the void pretty much straight away. I did start building some up one level, but realized that trial and error was much better down on ground level. So you just have to use your imagination and think of this as not the ground floor, or floor one, but floor two. So you'd be coming up to this, and this would be the first floor that you would want to walk out of, other than the floor below. So let's talk about how this works. Uh, first of all, this is just a bubble beta taking us all the way up to the top, which is great. We have this piston, which will fire this block into here, thus stopping this being water sourced anymore. So we're going to need to make sure that we pull the water back into the dispenser to begin with. Then on the reverse, we need to first of all pull this piston back out and then push the water to reinstate the water source. And the way that that's done is when I flick this lever, it's going to move this redstone block to here, which will power this circuit. So first of all, which is on one tick delay, this repeater will fire into this block, pulling, activating this dispenser and pulling the water in. Then afterwards, which I think this is set on two, four ticks, so eight ticks delay, this will then push the piston into the space the water used to be. We can do that. And we should have a full water bucket in here, which we do. Now when I flick this lever off, what will happen is this circuit will be changed. So this redstone will move over here, automatically pulling the piston back, first of all. And after the piston has been pulled back, round here through this dispenser will tick into this repeater. So it will fire once into the dispenser, pushing the water out. And it is very closely timed. So this repeater is on four ticks. This one is on two ticks. This torch here inversely will power this piston as this one deactivates, which essentially moves the redstone from one side to the other. And this helps us alternate between one circuit, which does dispenser in, piston out, and then piston in, dispenser out. So in practice, So here you can see, system off, I come in, I come all the way to the top floor. If I was down at the bottom, I'd come all the way up from the bottom to this floor and to the top floor in one swift motion. If I hit this lever and I was at the bottom and I came up, I would end up right here where I can walk out. If I flick that switch again, I'm back up to the top. You know, maybe somebody has got a video like this out there already. I couldn't find it. I found lots of different ones using like mine carts and rails and trapdoors. So am I going to use this in my build on the server? No, no, I am not. And for a couple of reasons. First reason is I have four, maybe five stories for my villager trading building. This really only works with three. If you wanted to go up further, you'd have to build this whole janky mess again at this level and then you'd be needing to do logic circuits to have levers on each floor either cancel each other out or add to each other. This was already a headache. I'm not going to be doing that. Plus the footprint for an elevator is massive. I'm probably going to go back to maybe my original idea. Just have... Just have three or four ways up. Each one lands on a different floor and then have a, a way of falling down through tra trap doors to let yourself out on different levels. Totally old school, totally fine. If this is useful to anybody, if they want to build on this, compact it, send me a link to your video. More than happy to promote that and potentially use it. Enough of this malarkey. Quindextra out.